Yeah, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail in today's vlog, we actually do have a racing video for y'all. But I'm not gonna lie, something's wrong with Vader and it's pretty bad and you can kind of see it in today's runs. So that being said, let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into today's video. Let's get it. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lives. All the time stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, we got Vader here in all his glory. That carbon fiber hood, man, just carbon fibering right now. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, um, so the topic of today's video, as you guys know, if you've been in the loop with all of the vlogs, man, and you've been up to date with the channel, Vader is throwing a check engine code for the chassis control module, which is basically sparked by the passenger side AFM valve being stuck, closed, and not opening. I have tried everything from reflashing the tune onto the car to swapping out the actuator on the car to swapping out the connector for the active fuel management harness for the valve on the passenger side. I've literally done all of that. I've done relearns with the GM computer. I've done everything. And this pesky check engine light just continues to present itself. So that being said, in today's video, I actually lined it up with my boy Frankie. Y'all may know him on IG as Lord Frankie. He has a Holden SS Basically a Botan car. Um, I believe it's just headers, intake, no intake manifold, no throttle body, and tune on 93 with some weight reduction. Y'all already know, y'all have seen me race my homeboy before. We've run these cars um, when Vader had the original Botan setup, when Vader was bone stock, when Vader had the port work done to it. We've run those car these two cars up against each other almost every single setup that this car has had. That's my dog, man. Every car that I buy, whatever car he has at the time, we've always raced, always gone. You know, it's just for fun, man. Fun runs with the homies type deal, man. So that being said, um, we were all together, me, him, Alex, my boy Raul, and his brother, my boy Charles. We were all out on Sunday grabbing some content for you guys that y'all will see on my Instagram J.I. Productions underscore, and also my boy Alex's Instagram and my boy Frankie's Instagram. All three of those will pop up on the screen and my boy Raul's Instagram. All four of those actually will pop up on the screen, so make sure you tap in with those. Um, but yeah, man, we ended up running the cars and the outcome was not what it was supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the clip from the run that we had um, we did do a dig race and we did a 40 roll. I don't have the footage from the dig, but I do have the footage from the 40 roll, which is perfect because I'm going to run that footage from Sunday. And then I'm also going to run the footage from when the car had just gotten tuned and we raced a 40 roll before the previous 40 roll and the current 40 roll. And you guys are going to see the difference. So let's go ahead and run them. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I know what you're thinking. Damn. <laughs> Wow. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> you feel me? Um, honestly, y'all, I really, I don't even know what to do at this point. Um, I'm really kind of leaning towards getting the car retuned. Um, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. You guys already know I'm ready to, you know, go crazy with this build, throw the cam in, do the heads, and throw the nitrous at the car. So... I don't really know if I really want to get the car tuned on this setup again, or if I want to just go ahead, throw the new setup on the car and then get the car tuned and see if it fixes the issue. But then the thing is with that is, if I do all of that, throw all this money into the car and it doesn't, and then I get the car retuned and that doesn't fix the issue, then it's like, damn. Now I just sat here and made the hole that I was already in even bigger by dumping in even more money into the car. So I don't know, man, that's my current dilemma. But what I do know is Vader is for sure down on power right now. The check engine light could be what's causing it to pull timing. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but something's not right for sure. Because for us to take a L to Frankie, yet alone take a L in that fashion, yeah, bro, this car is for sure not running how it's supposed to run or how it used to run. That simple. And that's a very big problem. If you guys pay attention in the clip, literally, as soon as we go and we take off, the car doesn't even squat at all. Normally, my car squats. Like, you'll see the front end lift up and it takes off. This video... This event, this race, whatever you want to call it, the car did not lift up at all. It literally just falls back. Um, so that being said, y'all, I know something's wrong with Vader. So I'm going to, you know, kind of just sleep on it, think about it, and kind of just roll the dice, man, and see where I end up. I think my last resort at this point is to get the AWE um, AFM brackets that are supposed to trick the car into thinking that the valves are open and you're not supposed to have any issues. That is literally my last resort. So I'm gonna get in touch with my boy, Matt, over at wildhammermotorsports.com. If you need anything GM related, wildhammermotorsports.com is the place to go. Use your boy promo code JIWild to save yourself some money at checkout. You dig what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I might end up going and tapping in with my boy, on Monday or Tuesday, I know Cyber Monday is going to have them hella backed up and hella crazy and whatnot. So I might hit them up on Tuesday and go ahead and get a set of those brackets sent out here. And we'll try connecting those and see if it fixed the issue. If it does, I'll reflash the tune on the car, go out, make some hits, and just record the process, man. Y'all already know what I'm doing, man. I'm going to keep y'all in the loop with all of the videos and everything that's going on with this car every step of the way, the good, the bad, the beautiful, the ugly, the nasty, the clean, everything. So you know, just like I know, that building a car from stock to a monster is not easy. The process in between is gonna have ups and it's gonna have downs and you gotta be ready for whatever life throws at your way. That can be relatable to building a car. That can be relatable to starting a business. That can be relatable to anything that you think about. That can be relatable to life, period. Your boy J.I. is throwing some game to y'all right now. So if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button. And drop a comment in the comment section down below. It's been your boy J.I., man. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to roll that outro. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one.